hey what's up guys uh, thank you very much for watching now uh, I thought today we can do uh, an emergence uh, lighting uh, this emergence lighting uh, it's normally used in the in most sensitive places it can be used in the hospital in the theater especially uh, where you do not want the light to go off completely okay then you would also use it in an installation uh, in the places like uh, staircases uh, and all uh, liftways or inside lifts you know uh, corridors you know kind of stuff so in most cases when power goes there is always a delay uh, like we've always talked about when the power goes there is always a delay for a generator to start okay and that delay is at that seconds uh, like 30 seconds that's enough time for someone to fall a victim in that darkness okay so when you have an emergency lighting whereby if the main goes off immediately then uh, this emergency lighting lights it will be a separate light okay uh, alongside these other ones then it will light on for a short period of time then even when the main restores or the generator starts and the main restores then it will go off so basically that uh, normally these lights they always they can run on batteries uh, you know an inverter basically that they can run on batteries with an, with an inverter okay yeah but the, the, the reason for for the reason for the emergency lighting it does not wait it does not have a delay the moment the main goes it lights instantly okay so that's what we are going to demonstrate here okay so we are just going to use a relay because a relay is a, is, is a switch that can switch between two positions okay it can it can close from normally open to normally closed so that's why we want to use this one because it will be able to switch uh, from main to to our emergency light now we have our LED here and you have need a battery to you know to, to, to light it so let us demonstrate and guys this circuit uh, don't really ask for for schematic because it's very basic it's very basic uh, just follow along so this is a normal relay and this relay they always have an indication here if you always look on a template they will tell you which contact is open which contact is closed okay but you can always use a multimeter to test so this this wire here is our main and now what we are going to do uh on this relay our the supply is 11 and 1 okay so we're just going to connect our supply here okay our supply is done now the other thing what you're going to do is we just need to connect this bulb just direct it to the terminal okay uh, if you're incorporating this in an installation that means you don't need to put this bulb here of course the an installation has got bulbs what you need is the same supply to supply this relay such that in the in case power goes uh, the LED is turned on or the DC bulb or that bulb is turned on for the, the emergency light okay so let us connect our bulb so we've connected the bulb across the terminals of this relay okay such that when we switch on the, the uh, this relay is not controlling this bulb it's controlling the LED Okay. All right. Now we need to connect this LED uh, here, our emergency light. So uh, we will need to connect all the terminals. So we have our cable here from from the battery. So we have you have to follow that. We have positive for brown and negative uh, for blue. Okay and uh, i'm using here on on the relay i'm going to use contact number nine and number eight are closed so i'm just going to choose two contacts two pair so contact number nine and eight are closed and they are going and they will supply they will take positive 
and then contact number three and the four they will take negative okay so so this is contact number nine i will connect the positive here from the battery i will connect blue to the negative now the the LED as brown denotes uh, you know positive and this is negative and my brown is here on contact number nine which goes through to contact number eight okay so brown here which is positive of the lead it is in contact number eight negative of the lead it goes to to the negative here which is contact number four which corresponds to the contact number three we, we have connected my negative from the battery and that's now okay so what we do we have to insert in our our relay okay now the relay works well so what we are gonna do is now turning on our light here so now our power from the our utility supply is on okay is on and um, assuming that this bulb is in the corridor okay in the corridor together with this led or together with this bulb here the dc bulb or the emergency light so in case so in case this power goes and you're waiting for a generator now the corridor is dark it is in the night uh your utility supply is on now the moment the utility supply goes you see the led will instantly come on because its power has been pending right there okay it will come on instantly now within those 30 seconds or 30 seconds or 20 seconds that your generator takes you know to engage then that's when this one will go off okay so people will not notice that the emergency lighting will go on instantly okay avoid people uh, 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 avoiding problems that people falling off the stairs the circus okay so if if the main comes back or the generator has started and it has been engaged then the relay get engaged and the emergency lighting goes off it's just as simple as that okay uh the emergency lighting it's not always there to light for for the long period of time okay it it, it just come on for those few seconds that uh the main goes off and we allow the generator to come on okay yeah that, that's what normally happens we can recap uh, when the main goes off then instantly the the emergency light come on okay so basically that's what happened and uh if you're seeing uh what i'm seeing the the, the light the led uh, blinks that's how the camera sees it but in reality it doesn't it's just the light is still okay all right uh thank you guys for watching please don't forget uh to like this video and uh to subscribe if you have any person that indeed wants to know this kind of things please don't forget to share and uh i'm out